conclave, as we said, a round table, a literal round table where we've talked about things like creative solutions and a lot of things have been exposed to us, things we didn't know. Uh, there was networking, times of healing and repenting, times of getting uh, really letting our righteous indignation uh, anger us enough to a call to duty. And we've just unmuted all of these distinguished ladies, world-class leaders from around the world. I'm telling you, it's been phenomenal. So without my words, I want you to hear their words and hear the exuberant, I mean, just how excited they are after coming out of this closed round table conclave. Ladies, what was so 2020 like? Let me hear it from you. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Hey, go awesome. way to go. Awesome. 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 Amazing. Information. Amazing. Amazing. Great. Life changing. Yes. Glorious. 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 Yes. Well, there you go. We've got all these different ethnicities from different persuasions, from different walks of life, from different parts of the world. But the common denominator is that we are all sisters of power in the world. We're so excited because just a testimony of what came out of this closed meeting just and we only just got together on Friday night and hear this on Sunday morning in this little amount of time God can deliver by many or he can deliver by few and it doesn't take God a long time to do anything when we yield to him this is how deliberate and intentional these women are 14 young people from a village by the name of Kwadi Mishan in Haiti, which you've been endeavoring to get these kids scholarship to go to school for a while now for this year here. And uh, it was an initiative that was first presented and led out by Tammy Watson, her real estate company and her vision book club as well. But these women came together and just picked up the, just picked up the baton along with Tammy and the other soul women and just said, I think it was Kernitha who's on here, who just says, why are we believing for one? Let's believe for the whole, my words, the whole enchilada, okay? And over $18,000 in pledges and scholarships have now, tuitions have been covered for those 14 young people to go to college in Kwade Mishan that have never been to college, over $18,000 from these women that came together in this conclave close round table ladies can we give one more shout out to the lord and praise to him and shout unto the lord with a voice of triumph ash and i wish i'd have told you to have that show for already but god did it god did it and we're so excited our we've had ambassadors and uh, those of the Chamber of Commerce, those that are local legislators. We've had royalty. We've had, I mean, from, uh, it just goes on and on. We've had those from UN representatives and uh, just different, different walks of life. Women that are operating at the top of their game at the highest. Dr. Bella uh, in the area of human trafficking. Uh, Dr. Michelle McKinney-Hammond, we had her as well. Uh, we had Lanika Scott on Friday night. Wally Akimi coming to us from Kenya, East Africa. We had our, our instructors were speaking to us from a global perspective. We had the daughter of the late Dr. Miles and Ruth Monroe, who was a woman and on the right, uh, Dr. Carissa Monroe Wilburn, and so, so, so many. I don't want to get in trouble by calling out names because I might end up leaving out somebody. Oh, not to mention our White House advisor and political analyst. We had none other than my friend Janet McGelly to just rock everybody's world. Incredible storyteller. She gave us uh, just a challenge of women to know that, you know, you may face uh, clear and present danger from time to time, but God always equips us and God always empowers us and, and causes us to always triumph in Christ Jesus. And then we had yours truly. We had Christine who just shared with us, Christine Hayworth, uh, who uh, works for World Vision. Is Her whole assignment is impacting and transforming nations and empowering women. We had one of my other daughters. We had um, Brittany, who just completely opened up our eyes with what they're doing in the school system with our children. I just couldn't believe it. And then my daughter in love, Mignonette, took us straight to the garden. We Now we are going to be a part of the garden tribe as well. So it's just phenomenal the things that we've been able to do in this closed meeting. You don't want to miss next year, February uh, the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th is your opportunity to hop in as you look on our Facebook page and follow us. You'll have all the information, but we're not stopping here. We told everyone it's not a seminar. It's not a conference. 
No, not that at all. This was a think tank, a conclave of thinking. And I mean, we even had my daughter Valerie Darbell to literally show us her spice cabinet, her kitchen and the closet of the kids so she could see how things are all organized so our life can be in order because we know divine increase follows divine order and just helping us as women on the cut edge. Then we had men that were on because the men were like, well, what about us? And so the men were brought in as well. I won't forget this weekend and I'm sure the ladies won't either. So those of you that are watching, we allowed you to come and get a little sneak uh, look into the uh, round table and to the conclave with us. As we come out, we have come in and come together and shut up uh, together to be informed. And now we are departing to be deployed. We're hitting the ground running. And we are determined there are certain things we are not going to tolerate. We learn from local legislators the things that we don't have to accept and the decorum of what we need to do to be operating in proper protocol and proper etiquette to go forth and to represent our father in a kingdom way. So those of you ladies that says, oh, I missed it this time. You don't want to miss it last time. You've heard the excitement from the ladies. Again, the dates are on our Facebook page and they're going to be all on the social media platforms. It's that week in February, the 4th through the 7th, we'd say, and you don't want to miss the next one. Meanwhile, in between, we're going to be launching Financial Transformation Institute to help people get their finances. The month of October is the fiscal year calendar where people make decisions about their finances in the accounting world. Many companies do this as well. So a wonderful time to decide, wait a minute, I need my finances completely transformed. So all the information are going to be on social media sites as well. Ladies, we love you so much. Uh, this is our time of ending. I, I said earlier, I kind of feel like the Cal Burnett song. I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> it's been great. And um, But the beautiful thing is we're stuck like Chuck. We don't have to go anywhere. We're going to stay connected because we got work to do. For those of you that would like to join the movement and other women that have been a part of so, we are very much have strategies to come against the sexual exploitation of children and some of the different things that they have as wicked, evil tactics against our seed and our seed seed. And we have our Deborah uniforms on. We have our Deborah, uh, we're, 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 we're geared up and we're ready for battle. And you know what? The devil, he hates, he should have never allowed us to come together. But the Doris is too late now. We're ready to hit the ground, right, Jane? We're ready to go. Daisy, we're ready. Jada, we're ready. Shanette, the educational round, we're not allowing the enemy to infiltrate the minds of our young people. We are determining what they're going to be taught. For those of you that are not aware, I'm familiar with our book, uh, I'm Glad God Made Me a Girl, I'm Glad God Made Me a Boy. It literally celebrates gender. It, it's a, to celebrate gender. It does not bash or demean anybody else's belief of their orientation, but rather it celebrates from our perspective of what we believe the word of God has to say for your little sons and daughters, for your little girls. I'm glad God made me a girl. I'm glad God made me a boy. And what it does is it solidifies that, <coughs> excuse me, the gender was decided before they came out of the womb. So you're gonna see those books on our Facebook page and they're on our website as well, patriciabailey.org. I'm gonna release the ladies so they can enjoy the rest of their time. I want them to, to, take, to just sit and just soak over everything that they've gotten. And ladies, I wanna say publicly to everybody that's watching and whenever it's viewed, you're stuck with me. I love you. And until next year, ladies, God bless you. Those of you that are gonna stay on for our cameo, stay on as we hop off and can't wait to see you next year, ladies. God bless you.